If you want to sell your house, one of the first things you're going to do is look around your neighborhood at all the signs on the lawns of those that are selling houses. And you're going to find one or two people that pop up more often than anybody else. And you say to yourself, okay, these guys must be really good at what they do because they have so many listings. So you call them up and they come out and they tell you they'll put your house on the MLS. They will do some open houses. Well, not them, their staff. Uh, they'll put a couple of ads in the local papers and some magazines. And then they call me. And the reason they call me is because they are listing agents. Their job is to work with people like you to find listings. And they, all they want to do is, is, is get a house and put it on the MLS. And then they go to the next one. The reason they need me is because I'm the guy that's working with all those buyers that you want to come to your house and make an offer. So what I spend my time with, and the reason you don't see my signs on all the lawns, is because I'm spending time with buyers. I get them qualified, first of all, so that they're not going to waste time coming to your house and they can't afford it. Secondly, I've managed their expectations so they're not looking for the perfect house. We've already seen a few and I've told them that's not going to happen. So if there's a couple of things wrong with your house, we've got that covered. And thirdly, I'm working with these people all the time. Let me give you an example. If your house is two stories, let's say you've got a main floor and a bottom floor and you've got a separate entrance and it's in reasonably good shape. You haven't fixed everything, but it's in pretty good shape. I have right now 12 buyers that I could bring in tomorrow morning and I would have an offer by the end of the day. That's how you find people saying that they've sold their house in 24 hours. It's not because their listing agent was so great. It's because I'm already out there with these buyers and the second your house pops up, I bring them in and it gets sold. That could happen tomorrow. Another example is a first time buyer, a young couple. They're looking for a house that they can do something with. So if your house isn't quite fully updated, but it's clean and it's classy, that's the kind of house that they want. And remember, I've already got them pre-approved, so I know what they can afford, and I've already got their expectations managed, so they know what they can fix and what they can't fix. Now, if you're interested in this kind of thing and you're wondering why I'm talking about things like this, you're probably asking yourself, he probably wants to list my house. Well, I do, but what I'm going to do is something else. I want you to let me come and appraise your house, tell you how much it's worth. And then I'm going to drop off my book. I wrote a book about all the things I'm talking about. And it's called Sold Strategies. And it talks about the cheapest, the safest, and the smartest way to sell your house. The cheapest, of course, is to do it yourself. And I show you exactly how to do that in here. So that's an agent telling you how to do it without me. The safest way is to use an agent and I'll help you decide which one you should use, a buyer's agent or a seller's agent. That's all in here. And then lastly, the smartest way to sell your house, which is a combination of both, meaning you're going to save thousands of dollars in commissions. It's all in here. I also explained to you how to stage your house. Whether your agent helps you with that or not, there are things that you can do to save money, save time, and make it look more appealing. And then lastly, I tell you how to promote the house, things that most agents don't do, and little things that you can do to make sure more buyers come through. So what I'm asking you is if you're thinking of selling your house, give me a call. I'll tell you how much the house is worth. I'll leave you a copy of my book, and then you'll never hear from me again. Unless you decide that who you really want working for you is somebody who spends an awful lot of time with buyers.